Anti-war movements have occurred for as long as there have been wars, though many historical narratives tend to isolate specific anti-war movements as unique. In this country, we've seen anti-war movements as settler colonists waged war on indigenous people, anti-war movements in the form of resistance and rebellion by enslaved people, anti-war movements against World Wars I and II, the Vietnam War, and the invasions of Iraq and Afghanistan, to name a few. These movements have historical specificity and a broad range of political ideologies on how to respond and what's fueling them. We want to nod to the general abolitionist nature at the core of anti-war movements. The idea ultimately is to abolish wars. While directly honoring the work of organizers and activists whose political saliency has worked to point out the political nature of war, opting for a sharpened analysis of imperialism, colonization, capitalist accumulation, and the subjugation of black and brown people, as well as the destruction of the environment. We've seen this lens really clearly in the anti-Vietnam War movement, some of the opposition to the occupations of Iraq and Afghanistan, and the international solidarity for Palestinians, for example. These movements are important for so many reasons, but one of the aspects is the international solidarity at the core of this work. Organizers and activists have to eschew the notion of borders and nationalism in order to build as colonized people across many lands.